students please note down the notes of this lecture are available in the description of video please download your notes dear students in today's lecture we will discuss arterial system of frog rana tigrina another important topic for bsc second year fourth semester students arterial system of frog the class amphibia the rana tigrina in this arterial system the heart pumps the blood to different body parts this ventricle it undergoes constriction and that systole pumps the blood in this additional chamber it is truncus arteriosus and this truncus arteriosus in front of this heart it divides immediately into two branches its each branch further divides into three branches and these are three main arcs one is carotid arc second one is systemic arc and third one is palmocutaneous arc dear students note down in this arterial system the ventricle that undergoes constriction and it it systole that pumps the blood into this additional chamber it is truncus arteriosus and this truncus arteriosus it bifurcates into two branches just in front of heart and each branch further div divides into three arcs one is carotid arc second one is systemic arc and this third one is palmocutaneous arc first a that is carotid arc this carotid arc it carries blood to head region and it gives two branches one is external carotid and another is internal carotid arteries this internal carotid artery further give rise three main branches one is cerebral artery it carries blood to brain region second one is palatine artery it gives palate or buccal cavity and this third one is that is ophthalmic artery it carries blood to eyes no down first arc that is carotid arc and this carotid arc give rise to main blood vessels one is external carotid second is internal carotid and this internal carotid it further gives rise three branches one is cerebral to head region to brain region and this one is palatine to palate palate of buccal cavity and this ophthalmic to eye this second branch this one is systemic arc this systemic arc it gives esophageal occipital vertebral branch each left and right systemic arc gives this main blood vessel this one is esophageal occipital vertebral branch it means it gives three main blood vessels one is esophageal to esophagus occipital at this occipital it carries blood to head region and the vertebral branch and this vertebral branch it gives blood to vertebral column another branch of this systemic arc of both sides this one is subclavian artery and this subclavian artery it carries blood to four limbs shoulder and neck region no down first one is carotid arc that gives two branches one is external carotid second is internal carotid and internal carotid further gives one cerebral second palatine third ophthalmic cerebral to brain or palatine to palate of buccal cavity ophthalmic to eyes this systemic as well as this it means both right and left systemic arcs which gives blood vessels and this main blood vessel is esophageal occipital vertebral branch 
it means it gives three branches one is esophageal to esophagus second is occipital artery to brain region and note down this vertebral artery to vertebral column and this blood vessel this one is subclavian artery it gives blood supply to four limbs shoulder region and neck region both left and right systemic arcs which unite just below the heart and they produce dorsal aorta this main blood vessel dorsal aorta in which blood flows backwardly this dorsal aorta gives this main blood vessel this one is celiaco mesenteric artery no down very important celiaco mesenteric artery and it bifurcates into two branches this branch is celiac artery and this branch is anterior mesenteric artery no down both left and right systemic arcs which unite to produce a dorsal aorta and this dorsal aorta gives this blood vessel it is celiaco mesenteric artery and this celiaco mesenteric gives two branches one is celiac artery second is anterior mesenteric artery this celiac artery it gives blood vessel to liver through hepatic artery and it also supplies blood to stomach through gastric arteries no down this anterior mesenteric artery it supplies blood to pancreas through pancreatic artery it also gives blood vessel to duodenum through duodenal artery and no down this anterior mesenteric blood vessel also gives blood to small intestine lower parts of small intestine ileum through intestinal artery as well as it gives blood vessel to spleen the blood bank of body through a splenic artery then this dorsal aorta gives one pair of genital arteries to gonads either testes or ovaries in intestinal region this dorsal aorta gives five or six pairs of renal arteries to kidneys in lower parts of body this main dorsal aorta it gives this main blood vessel this one is posterior mesenteric artery no down this posterior mesenteric artery it carries blood to large intestine rectal region through the rectal artery then dorsal aorta gives common iliac artery and these common iliac arteries further divide into epigastrico recto vesicular artery no down this epigastrico recto vesicular artery it means this main blood vessel divides into one two three branches one is epigastric artery that carries blood to abdominal muscles and this rectal artery it carries blood to rectum large intestine and this vesicular artery this vesicular artery it carries blood to urinary bladder and this lower branch it gives two main branches femoral artery and sciatic artery this femoral artery it carries blood to femur thigh region and this sciatic artery it carries blood to lower parts of hind limbs like shank foot this is all about arterial system of prograna tigrina very important topic for all bsc second year four semester students this is final exam topic in this system this pumping organ heart it pumps the blood to body through this additional chamber which is truncus arteriosus that truncus arteriosus bifurcates and its each branch gives three main arcs one is carotid to head region systemic to all body parts and this third arc is this one is palmocutaneous arc palmocutaneous arc very clear from this name 
palmo it means its two branches one is cutaneous artery to skin and the second artery which is pulmonary artery to lungs this is all about arterial system of frog rana tigrina in tomorrow's lecture we will discuss another important topic that is venous system of frog thank you